Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make this simple and easy knot bag. So to start we want to make a chain of 39, so I'm going to make my slip stitch, insert my hook and start chaining. So you want to yarn over and pull through and repeat that until you've got 39. So now you have your chain of 39, we are going to single crochet. So you want to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So one, two, single crochet. So you're just going to yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. And we're going to repeat that all the way down, just single crocheting in each, each stitch till the end. Once we have done our row of single crochets, you want to put three single crochets into the last stitch. So insert your hook, do one single crochet, and then go back into that same stitch. And then one more time. So now you have three single crochets in that stitch. We are now going to work on the opposite side of our foundation chain and we're going to single crochet along each stitch. So to do that we're going to go into that stitch, this next stitch and single crochet. Once you have single crocheted along the opposite side, in the final stitch, you want to single crochet three. So it should look something like this. Um, we're going to be working in continuous rounds, so you don't need to slip stitch. We're going to work into our first stitch that we did. So now for the rest of the bag, we will be doing half double crochets. So to do a half double crochet, we'll be going into our next stitch and we're going to yarn over, insert the hook into that stitch, yarn over, pull through. Now you've got three loops on your hook. You want to yarn over and pull through all three. And you're going to want to put a stitch marker in that stitch so we know that's the beginning of each round. So now we'll do a half double crochet in the next 37 stitches. Now we're going to do a half double crochet increase. So we're just going to do half double crochet into the next stitch twice. So that's one, and then go back into that stitch, and that's two. And then we're going to do a half double crochet in each stitch until we reach our last stitch, and we're going to do another increase in that final stitch. And then final stitch, we're doing an increase. And that is round two complete. For round three, we are going to do one half double crochet in each stitch around. So 
just do one in each. Remember to put your stitch marker in the first stitch of each round. And now I'm just going to half double crochet all the way around. Once you have finished round three, your work should start to curl up and on the sides and this will create the bag shape. So one thing to bear in mind is if you want your bag to be bigger, by all means you can make the foundation chain longer um, and the increases and everything are the exact same. It just means your bag will be wider. Um, so now for the rest of the bag, we are going to repeat round, row three. So we're going to half double crochet in each stitch and we want to do that for 24 rows. So once you have made all of your rows, come back to the video and we will do the handle for the bag. So for the handle, we're going to do a half double crochet in the first stitch of the next round. So round 28. Let's do a half double crochet. You want to put your stitch marker back in that first stitch. And now we're going to do 12 more half double crochets. So that should leave you to the corner. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you're finishing right on the edge, right on the edge of your bag. We're then going to chain one, we're going to turn our work and we're going to do a half double crochet in each stitch until our stitch marker. So you should have 13 every time. So half double crochet, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Finishing on that stitch marker. So your work should start to look like this. Just creating the handle. So we're going to repeat. The half double crochet in each stitch so you've got 13 in each row chain one half double crochet again keep turning your work and i'll put on the screen how many rows we're going to do of that after you've done your 24 rows it should look something like this and to fasten off so you just want to yarn over pull through and then cut your yarn and make sure you leave a long tail because we're going to sew it to the other side Okay, so we've now threaded our darning needle. We're going to turn our work over. To sew the bag, you want to make sure the handle is folded flat and the edges are lining up. We're also going to make sure the bag itself is completely flat. Okay, so we've got our work lined up and we're going to sew our handle. So we're going to start on the bottom of the bag and you want to go into the front loop only of the V's. So we're going to do front loop only, pull through, go into the first stitch of the handle on the front loop only. So technically, so it's showing as the front loop, but it is technically the back loop of the bag. So We'll call it the back loop on the handle. 
pull that through go along to the next stitch front loop And then go on the handle of the back loop and repeat all along. When you pull together, it should create a seamless stitch. Repeat all along. If it's a bit too confusing with it laying flat, you can always put the handle and bag together like that. Lift it up, make sure it's lined up. And this way you can then see the stitches a bit more clearly. So we're going back loop of the handle, front loop of the bag itself, and so all the way along you don't need to pull tight until we've got to the end And then on the last stitch, you can just go through both loops and then pull tight. And you can see here, it's a seamless stitch. So you can't tell that we've actually sewn it to the bag. And then what you want to do, go through both loops of the bag itself. And then we want to go back through the handle and we're going to create a knot. And then to make sure it's extra secure, just make another knot. And that is one part of the handle complete. So right now your bag should look something like this and now what we're going to do is do the same thing on this side but we're going to make the handle double the length okay so we want to tie the yarn about one stitch in so if you can see here on the corner the corner stitch we didn't go all the way to the end so we want to do the same here so we want to skip that very corner stitch so you want to insert your hook into that stitch and this is where we're going to start crocheting so attach your yarn pull through tie a knot just do a basic double knot okay so i've attached my yarn i'm going to insert my hook yarn over and pull through and then we're going to chain two and this chain two is going to count as our first stitch and then we're going to do 12 half double crochets along so yarn over insert your hook yarn over and pull through all three and we're going to repeat that until we have 12 And now you should have 13 stitches remember we are counting that first chain two as our first half double crochet so we'll go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and we're going to do the exact same as this handle where we chain one turn our work and we're going to do 13 half double crochets
and then we're going to chain one turn our work and repeat and we are going to do that until we have got 38 rows you should now have 38 rows of half double crochet so we're now going to fasten off and sew the handle to the bag we're going to repeat the exact same steps as how we did the first handle And this is your finished bag complete.